Hi, I'm Marlon Hunter, and you're watching the Co-op Minute. As the feed is being bagged, we are bringing in two bags at a time, weighing up 100 pounds at a time. The bags are automatically fed into the bagger, automatically filled. Our sewing machine has a crate tape lock code printer. We program the lock code printer into today's Julian date. The Julian date is the day of the year that it was produced with the item number at the end of the date. The item number will reflect the automated tagging system that is placed on each individual bag. The lock codes are used as a lock code tracing. So if there's any kind of traceability, any kind of issues that goes on with the feed, we can go back into our system and put the Julian date in and it will give us a printout of every county that has purchased that bag of feed. As the bag is filled, it will go down the bagging line and it is stacked by our new automated robot system. It will stack up to 25, 26 bags a minute. We also apply what we call a lock and pop glue system. After that is sprayed on the bag, it does go through the automated uh, robot arms. It's automatically stretch wrapped as it comes off of the palletizer. So after the, the pallet has been stretch wrapped, and taken and put in the right proper place of the warehouse, it is stored until the county co-op stores have ordered the feed. Once it's loaded, it is ready to go to your local co-op store. Thanks for joining us. Check back with us next week for some more co-op tips.